Hey everybody, how we doing today? So today's video, we're gonna be talking about fish prints, but not this fish prints, which you can buy at www.allaboutthebait.com. But no, actually catching your own fish and making a print out of it, something like this. Um, I've actually started the process a little while ago knowing I wanted to kind of get into this by adding just plain hooded fishing shirts. I've got them in six different colors, ranging from small to 4XL, um, and I thought they would be a perfect template for doing fish prints or customizing your own shirt. Now, if you're not into that and you just want a cool fish print shirt, bam, you could have one here. But uh, today, we're just going to start playing around with the process of actually doing our own. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll see I went out and caught a couple of uh, little bait fish out there. I got a mullet, a pinfish, and a pilchard. Um, today, I just wanted, I've never done them. Um, I just took a cursory glance on the internet of just seeing people do it. I think the primary start of it was actually doing prints more like uh, artwork just on canvas or paper and then framing it and so forth. But we're trying to do it a little bit differently and trying to actually make a shirt style print. Uh, so I'm going to be testing out a few things. I picked up uh, some of the stuff that I think we'll need and then I'm going to use those small bait fish just as samplers to kind of get a, the feel of doing it before I start wrecking a bunch of good shirts and uh, some bigger fish. So uh, let's get started. All right, the stuff we've got uh, for this, uh, minus the shirt, is we've got our subject matter, which is our mullet, pinfish, pilchard. Uh, last night I brought them home, hosed them off, just gave them a light rub down, try to get that slime off, then uh, put them on a plate, stuck it in the refrigerator overnight, and I figured without covering them, that would kind of dry them out, which it did a nice job. Today, because the slime kind of builds up on the bottom, I gave them another quick wash job, put them back in the refrigerator, and now there's just they're pretty much dry there, and then not that slime there. What you gotta be careful of is making sure that you don't have any fish slime, blood, poo, or anything, because that all transferred right along with the paint, and you don't want that. So those are that, got some paper towel for cleanup. Because I'm gonna be doing it on fabric, I went with some basic acrylic paint uh, versus using like that tattoo ink they do to print it on like rice paper or canvas paper for more artwork but I think the acrylic will be better for a uh, fabric. Uh, I've got some standard just uh, pins that I'll use to prop up the, uh, the fins there, get those uh, on there, uh, paintbrush. And I got this at the dollar store, I saw that, and it's got a concave foam piece, and, but that concave part I think is gonna be good for setting the fish in, in the middle there, spreading the, uh, the fins, pinning them, and then that'll give me a nice flat working surface. Otherwise, I think if you do it on a flat surface, you have to uh, put something underneath the fins to kind of take up that space so you could pin them open. So I think this will work out fine. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this set up. All right, I'm gonna be using this bright coral as the color of the uh, ink there. So I'm just gonna try rubbing it on there. I know I wanna go a very light coat primarily because this doesn't have much in the way of uh, scales because it's so small. See, with, even with that coat, you can't see any scale pattern there. Try to brush off as much as I can. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have uh, got it onto the uh, borders there. Dang it, I didn't think about that. All right, let's give that a try there. And see what it does. It's gonna use a corner of this t-shirt here. Lay it down. Try to get all the way around. Now that's kind of cool, I can see through. I think we're okay. I 
I don't get very much of these uh, fins down here. Well, we'll do a quick look here and see how it came out. Peel it off. All right, that came out pretty good. See it there. Have a little bit of the finnage. That's what I thought was the key part. It's not going to show much in the scale pattern, but as long as it's not one solid blob, that's a good thing. So yeah, that's not too bad. Right there. Smooth it out. Try to get some definition from the fins there, and the tail as well. Needed more paint on the tail there so I can get that point. All right, let's see what we got here. Now I can start seeing a little better detail that time. So I'll put a little bit more effort into the fins, but still could use a lot better job if I had a, uh, a smaller paintbrush. I'm gonna do one more, but not adding any more paint, just to see. I think less is better. I'm gonna lay that down. Oop. Oh yeah. All right, that came out pretty cool. Not sure. This one came out a bit, if it wasn't so blotchy, I think because that's where my fingers were pushing on it and the spots that I missed pushing on it, that lighter looks pretty cool. But so does this gives a lot more detail, especially with those fins there. But yeah, I definitely need that finer paintbrush so I could uh, get those detail spots a little better and try not to get the paint off of the fish because that kind of smears it. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, next we're gonna try the mullet. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. That doesn't, well, yeah, I guess I'll sit there. Hopefully that'll show up, but uh, I've got a, these two pin there. I think that's enough. It's got a little bit larger scales, so those might show up. I think I'll, when I do the paint it, do one print, and I think it'll be just kind of full print. But then the second one, I think, might show a little bit more scale detail. So we'll see. Let's check it out and give it a paint job. This one I'm going to try with blue. I only have the one paintbrush, so it might be blue and orange. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> it's going to be two-tone. All right, let's lay the shirt here. Oh, oh no, you gotta stay down. Oh, getting slack. Get those fins right off the bat. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, pretty cool. Bam. All right, I cleaned the brush. Blue and that uh, coral color don't make a very appealing color. So I just got it cleaned up to just the blue. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna roll the paint all the way to the sides. Try to keep it a little bit narrower. All righty, see what that did. All right, that's the first one with the mullet with the multicolor. Comes out kind of a grayish brownish. But then I cleaned up the brush. Yeah, better detail there. All right, last but not least, we got the pilchard here. I'm going to go with a gray, silver gray. Yeah, pretty cool. 
All right, we're gonna try it with some blue because that'll stand out a little bit better than that silver. Let's just stick it there. Yeah, so it doesn't move around. Yeah. That looks cool. And there you go. That's the pilchard in a blue and the silver. One thing I noticed is that this is um, bleeding from the gills. So I have to make sure that that's dried off really well. I thought those were stains on the shirt, but you can see they're the same exact spot. And this is the eyeballs. That's I thought was the original as well, but now it's coming out of the gills. So just got to be protective of that. Alrighty, so I think it ended up pretty cool. They look really nice. Especially when you do a nice little school like that with a bunch of different colors. But the biggest thing was just making the, learning the technique on how to do it. So definitely got some good tips here. One is you want a small paintbrush as well as a medium one that you can use to do the body, but you definitely need a fine, fine paintbrush so you can do like the fins and the uh, tail because those are the most detailed part that you want to make sure you get paint on. Uh, the other tip would be is to stick some paper underneath the fins or the tail, paint them, and then you could take the uh, paint, uh, paper away and then you just have the nice painted fins there and you don't have to worry about the smudging around there. That's what happened on this first one there. Uh, also, make sure to dry out the gills. Um, I didn't have any leakage from the eyes, the mouth, or the anal port like I thought, but I didn't check the gills, and it really only affected the uh, pilchards. Looks like they've got those there. The rest didn't seem to have it. Um, also, pins. I just use uh, the sewing pins because that's all I had, but they don't have a head on them. So when I put them in to hold the fins open, there was nothing to keep them from the fins from popping over the top of them and just retracting. So they didn't work really well. So if I had a, just a little head on it, that would probably resolve that as well. But uh, only other thing, the uh, concave base, the foam base, uh, I think that works good, especially in conjunction with using the paper to slide under the fins. Without the paper there, you end up getting the paint on the actual uh, uh, plat foam platform and then it ends up smudging like this first one the rest of them didn't have that so I think that resolved it but otherwise you could just put it on a cardboard flat and then paint it and then maybe put some foam underneath it to support the fins pin it and then put your uh, fabric over it um, I was worried about the uh, the ink drying really quickly but this acrylic stays moist for a while so you don't, you don't have to really rush it which is nice but uh, anyways there you go it's our first step to our project i think uh, next i'm going to catch like a 10 to 12 inch mangrove snappers uh they'll be a bigger size to work with plus they'll have some more distinctive scales that i think will show up better and then i'll do one more test on just some like regular junk t-shirts and then we'll go for the gusto and start using the uh the hooded shirts but uh anyways definitely give it a try it's a nice cheap quick project catch your own uh subject matter and go from there so uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.